Hello there, nerdlings. We have a live recap to do. It was our first three-day game since COVID has happened. And I will tell you, there were great precautions taken. Everyone was wearing masks. Minerva, you have to stop knocking things over. And my cat is being a pain in the butt right now. But yeah, me. Yeah, me. Yeah, you can hide under there. Just don't knock the camera over. So we had a three-day game this weekend. This was the um, festival of the moon. I don't remember, but it was the festival. So we had um, carnies that came into town and they like performed and were selling things and it was very, very fun. Um, so Friday night, um, Piper arrived to our new town. Don't ask me what it's called, I don't know. And the dwarves have come up with another name for it because no one can pronounce the elvish name or whatever it is. If I don't know, I, don't, I can't remember what they call it either. So don't ask me what it's called. It's just the new town to Piper. She's like, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, this is totally what it's called. When we arrived at the new town, uh, Piper and Fjallin were traveling through Barrowick and they went up to, I believe the new town is in Alderman? I think, I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I'm incorrect. So we went up north to get to the new town. Uh, Piper's best friend from home, her name is Dahlia. They collected her when they went home to Haylock in Barrowick. And they brought her with her. Um, and Dahlia is played by my dear friend, Heather. Um, so we brought her with us because she's been wanting to learn more about hearth magic and healing. And yeah, so she came with us. And then Friday night, um, the dwarves had a monster shift, or most of the dwarves had a monster shift. So uh, Piper and Dahlia were on their own. And Piper um, helped kill some goblins that were running amok, which she's never done that before in game. So it was very exciting. It was very, very, very exciting. Also, we found the location for the the tree, I wanna call it the tree of life, but that sounds so much like Animal Kingdom. It might have the same name, I can't remember. Um, but it's the tree that when you die, you come back through. Cause you have so many lives in game. The more levels you are, the more lives you have. So like Piper has 10 and she was at level 15 during this game. So yes. Um, but yeah. So we got to town, met some people, saw the Inversos, um, mingled with people, wandered around town, uh, ended up spending some time with Piper's friend Rogan, who is a ranger scout. He's not a scout yet. He's been working on becoming a scout. He became a scout this game? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we wandered around with Rogan and a couple other friends, and then I lit some goblins on fire, and it was great. Minerva, stop it! He ended up going to bed around two, I think. Um, Saturday morning, what did we do Saturday morning? I got up, um, I got Heather up and I got her off to, she was playing one of the carnies, um, so I got her up and I got her off to that so that she would be a-okay and taken care of, and then, um, the dwarves weren't awake yet, so... Uh, they slowly started waking up and then they all go out to breakfast Saturday mornings and their breakfast took forever They didn't get back until two So in the meantime while she waited Piper just kind of wandered around town and talked to people and People weren't harassing her But people felt like every single person was like why isn't the K open yet? And Piper was like, I don't know. I don't own it. I just work there So like People kept asking her why certain things weren't open yet, and she was just like, I don't have an answer. I don't know. And her, th her, the doors were still sleeping because they had a big family meeting last night. 
which is why they were at their monster shift, you know? Um, but yeah, um, so that's how she spent most of her morning was wandering around and saying hi and trying to find where the dwarves were, if they were awake or not. So uh, yeah, that was entertaining. Once the dwarves arrived, it was time for lunch with the Inversos. So it was like a big charcuterie, or as we like to call them, charcucci. Charcucci. Um, plate, so it was like, I brought pickles and I brought stroop waffles for dessert. And then um, we had like meats and cheeses and everything was just delicious. Everything was so good. So yeah. Uh, we had lunch, and we got to chat with the Inversos, and then Piper went and found Dahlia, who had slept in, but she was being a carny. Saturday night, Dahlia ended up staying in the keg to stay safe, and she got to hang out with the Inversos when they were in there and meet lots of new people, and she said it was okay that Piper could go out without her because Dahlia is very much defenseless. She currently has 2 HP because she's at level 1 and uh, <laughs> she's but a wee shireling so <laughs> she's a baby. She tiny. She got no way to protect herself. I did give her one of my knives though and I was like if you need this, stab somebody. <laughs> um, but yeah. So um, Piper actually ended up going outside. Well, she went and took a nap and I went and did makeup um, for monsters. And uh, when I was done with that and I you know, came out of my nap, uh, I went and I found the dwarves and the husks were out, which I was personally well aware of because I just painted their faces. Um, the husks were out but Piper did not know that. And we were trying to get rid of them. It was kind of a quiet night. Like other than the husks, it wasn't bad. So the humans had this bright idea of, we're going to take this pen and we're gonna put a ward up for the husks. Husks can resist magic though. So like it ended up being useless and the dwarves told them this, but of course nobody listened. So nobody listens to dwarves. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so we helped protect the caster while they did the ward, and then we threw all the, wool, the husks in, and the whole point was that so somebody, we could one, contain them and control them, and two, someone could study them and learn from them so that maybe we could figure out more of how to, you know, defeat them and fight them. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. But yeah. That is what happened Saturday night, and then we ended up going to bed. Piper did have a lovely chat with her human friend Lydia and Sigrid, who is a new shadow dwarf. And it was lovely. It was very lovely. And then, um, what else did we do? What else did we do? So that was Saturday night. Sunday, Piper got up. She went and had breakfast with the Inversos. We made biscuits and gravy. It was delicious. I went and worked at the keg a little bit. Um, the dwarves also had a late morning again, so they were out of play like a good chunk of the morning. Um, with the dwarves that were still there, we opened up the keg and we ran it and made some nice profit. And I chatted with people in the keg while I worked and wandered around and chatted with people and a lovely conversation with Yuri. Yuri is this lovely fellow and he was telling me how he was very worried that he was not enough. Oh, this is my dirty shirt from, that's actually going to get washed again. I'm going to bleach that and wash that again. I've done crafts and projects in this, so it has like stains and everything in it. <laughs> fun. But yeah, um, it was just, it was such a nice little heartwarming conversation. And Piper was just, she was able to be there for him and reassure him that like, you are 
good and you are worthy and he was talking about how you know his family his family members died and he had to bury his whole town and he goes back every year when they when they had died and takes care of their graves in which Piper can kind of relate to this because once Piper and Fjallin leave this town we're heading back up north so that we can visit Krinrin's grave. Krin was Fjallin's wife and she was killed on their wedding day so um, we are going to go visit her grave on the anniversary of her death. That is what we are off to go do. Um, but yeah. So Piper very much understands how important that is. And he was talking about how like, I'm getting older and I'm not gonna live forever. And I'm worried there's gonna be no one to take care of them once I'm gone. And Piper was just like, if Yalen and I can do that, if Yalen's gonna live much longer than the rest of us, we can do that for you. Um, but he did say that he had asked Zahak to Take care of their graves for him if something had happened to him but we don't know if anything's gonna happen to Zahak either so you know so much tragedy and sadness in the world and my cat is being so cute so cute um but yes um and then before we left piper arranged with the inversos for dahlia to go with them since piper and fialin are traveling north alone because that is a personal and private and intimate thing to go visit someone's grave um but also in saying that piper and yellen will not be at the next game because they will still be up north and that means i get to bring in my new character i'm building an alternate that i will be playing occasionally and um, I'm not going to tell you much about her because she's going to be a surprise, but I'm working hard on her. She is completely the opposite of Piper. She is very, um, she's not friendly. <laughs> she doesn't like anybody except for her boo thing because, you know, she got herself a man. But yeah, she's going to be so different to play. And she's such a complete different aesthetic too, like... She looks nothing like Piper. Overall, it was a really nice game, other than sitting around and waiting for the dwarves the entire game. I'm sorry, I was only a little annoyed with that, can you tell? But yes, it was a very nice game. I had a great time. I'm so happy Heather got to come play, and I'm so happy she had a great, she had a great weekend. And I'm so excited to play my new character next game. Um, but I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend, whether you were at game or not. Um, those of you who could not make it, we missed you. We understand if you, we understand anyone that wants to stay home. We get it. The world is very scary right now. And yeah, it's very scary right now. But I hope, I hope you all had fun. I hope you all go on great adventures and I cannot wait until we are together again in a month. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this, please click like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get all the updates from me. I'm sorry these haven't been as regular. I've just been dealing with, you know, moving and life and things are going to eventually get back to normal and I'm going to get on a schedule again. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I, yes, yes. Thank you all for being here and watching and I love you all. And until next time, bye.